Hello everyone and welcome to Kiki Crochet. On the previous video we had the introduction of the stitches where we saw what each uh, how each uh, how each stitch looks like when we have it on a, as a symbol. And on this video we're going to see um, how to recognize what each uh, symbol means from all these symbols and because not all of the symbols are in this chart uh, which I found on the internet this is not my chart uh, I'm gonna use um, a Greek one which is it's going to help us how to um, recognize the stitches well we only need the symbol we doesn't matter what if it's uh, written in Greek next to it so we have seen what each one of these stitches mean and now we're gonna see this stitch right here which means that it is a decrease and this is a single crochet decrease because it's two crosses and it's it means that you take two different stitches where you make a single crochet on each stitch and those two single crochet are one stitch up here that's why you have two stitches down here and one stitch up here and the abbreviation is SC to TOG which means single crochet two together so let's see how we're gonna work this um, this symbol over here so right here I have a total of 10 double crochet which is the stitches that I'm gonna work on to see what each, uh, each symbol means I just have a total of 10 double crochet so we can work on top of them so what we're going to do now is work a decrease of two single crochet so I'm going to chain one I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to make one single crochet in the beginning stitch over here this is not a decrease it's a regular stitch and I'm going to work a decrease on these next two stitches so in order to have a decrease of two single crochet I'm going to put my stitch and then I'm going to put my hook in the next stitch grab the yarn pull through the stitch and I have a total of two uh, two loops um, on my hook I'm going to put my hook in the next stitch grab the yarn pull through the stitch and I have a total of three loops on my hook so this is a total of two separate stitches so now I'm going to grab the yarn wrap it around my hook and pull it through those three loops so this was a two uh, single crochet decrease so we crocheted two single crochet together uh, let's do it one more time so I'm going to put my hook in the next stitch grab the yarn pull through the stitch and I have two loops on my hook and then I'm going to put my hook in the next stitch in the second stitch grab the yarn pull through the stitch and I have a total of two different stitches and three loops on my hook so I'm gonna grab the yarn pull through those three loops so this was a decrease of uh, two single crochet and this is the symbol the symbol right after that it's three crosses so we see that the cross is a or a plus sign is the symbol for single crochet so when you have uh, three crosses together that means that we have three single crochet together in single crochet three together which is a three single crochet single crochet decrease so in order to have a decrease of three single crochet I'm leaving the first single crochet that I made over here so if you want to make single crochet three together I'm gonna put my hook on the first stitch grab the yarn and pull through the stitch so I have two loops on my hook go to the second stitch grab the yarn pull through the stitch and I have three loops on my hook so this is a total of two stitches and I'm gonna go to the next stitch the third stitch grab the yarn pull through the stitch and I have a total of three stitches one two three and a total of four loops on my hook so grab the yarn pull through those four loops so this was a decrease of three single crochet that means that those three stitches became one so when you go to the next row you're gonna put your hook right in here and this is one stitch 
so that was my single crochet three together and you have to be careful that the line that's over here that it's horizontal and it's straight you don't want it to be diagonal if it's diagonal it means double crochet and with a horizontal line on the top you have to be a hundred percent sure that it's a a cross or a plus sign so this symbol over here it's a double crochet two together so it's a decrease of two different stitches two different stitches that you're making decrease of a double crochet so those two stitches become one when you finish making your decrease so this is the symbol for a double crochet this is the symbol of two double crochet decrease so what I'm gonna do is I just frog everything I had made and I am going to chain three one two three this chain three stands as my first double crochet for this row so I'm not gonna make a double crochet in this stitch because I have already made this chain three I'm gonna make a double crochet on this second stitch over here so these are two regular double crochet this is not a decrease we're gonna work the decrease right now and I'm gonna wrap the yarn around my hook once and put this hook in the first stitch grab the yarn pull through the stitch wrap the yarn around once pull through two loops so I have um, so I'm gonna leave those two loops on my hook if I was gonna make a regular double crochet I would wrap around once and pull through those two loops over here so because I want to make a decrease I'm gonna leave this um, halfway done double crochet on my hook so I'm gonna wrap the yarn around once my hook and I'm gonna put the hook in the next stitch grab the yarn pull through the stitch wrap the yarn around once pull through two loops so I have two different stitches two, two um, halfway done double crochet over here and a total of three loops on my hook I'm gonna wrap the yarn around once and pull through those three loops so these two stitches count as one now so our next symbol is our double crochet three together this is the abbreviation that you're gonna find in the written patterns so in order to make a decrease of three different um, double crochet it's very important that you understand that this means three different stitches that's why you have the the symbols open like this because when you have a symbol when you have this double crochet in a symbol like this that means that all three double crochet come out from the same stitch so this is not a decrease this is a decrease over here that's why you have this open um, symbols like this that means one two three different stitches so you're gonna make a decrease with those three stitches that at the end they're gonna count as one so let's start so I'm left with my I'm left with my first uh, two double crochet that I did in the beginning and we're gonna work our three double crochet decrease now so I wrapped around my yarn around my hook once put my hook in the next stitch grab the yarn pull through the stitch wrap the yarn around once pull through those two loops the first two loops so I have my first halfway done double crochet because I'm not gonna finish this I'm gonna leave those two loops on my hook wrap the yarn around once put your hook in the next stitch grab the yarn pull through wrap the yarn around once pull through two loops so this was my second stitch and what we want to do is a decrease of three double crochet so I'm gonna wrap the yarn around one more time and put my hook in the third stitch grab the yarn pull through wrap the yarn around once pull through the first two loops so at this point I have one two three different stitches three different double crochet that are halfway done and I have a total of one two three four loops on my hook I'm gonna wrap the yarn around once and pull through those four loops 
So in the next row, those three, those three double crochet will count as one. So when you turn your work, you have finished all your row and you turn your work, at this point you're going to put your hook right in here and that will give you that one double crochet. So let's see our next symbol. So this over here is a three double crochet cluster. Now you have to be aware the difference between this symbol over here and this symbol over here. When you have this, those lines over here with a diagonal line in the middle, that means that you're working a halfway through double crochet like we did before, but all the stitches come out from one stitch. That's why it's a cluster and it's not a decrease. When you have this um, symbol over here, it is a puff stitch. It is uh, We're going to be working half double crochet, so you're not going to be um, grabbing the yarn and pulling through the two loops. So because you don't have the lines in the middle, that means that you're working half double crochet. That's why we don't have a line in the middle diagonal over here. So this means that we're working half double crochet and it's called the puff stitch. So let's start with a three double crochet cluster. And in order to make the three double crochet cluster, I have my first two regular double crochet. So I'm gonna start to make the cluster from the next stitch. So I'm wrapping the yarn around once put my hook in the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull through the stitch, wrap the yarn around once, pull through two loops, wrap the yarn around once, put my hook in the same stitch, grab the yarn, pull through, wrap the yarn around once, pull through two loops. I have already made two different stitches in the same stitch. So wrap the yarn around once, this is the third and last time that we're doing this step and I'm going to put my hook in the same stitch as the previous two. Wrap the yarn around once, pull through two loops. So I have a total of three different double crochet all in the same stitch and I have a total of four loops on my hook. I'm going to grab the yarn around, I'm going to wrap the yarn around once, pull through all those four loops. So this was a cluster of three double crochet. This is three double crochet made in the same stitch and this stitch counts as one in the next row. It won't count as three different double crochet. That's why you make them halfway and then you grab the yarn and pull through all the loops together. That makes it as one stitch. So I am going to take this apart. Oops. So the next symbol that we're going to take a look at is the puff stitch. So as we did in the previous um, symbol, this all these uh, stitches are going to be worked in the same stitch. What we have to be aware is that uh, how many lines each symbol gives us. This gave us one, two, three, so that's why we made three uh, double crochet and then all those three became one double crochet. So right here we have one, two, three lines. So that means that I'm gonna grab three times yarn uh, through my stitch, through the same stitch. That's why we have three lines. If you had four lines, that would mean that you would have to grab four times yarn through your stitch. So let's see how we're gonna work our puff stitch. And our symbol says that we are going to grab yarn three times. One, two, three. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around once and I'm going to put my hook in the stitch, in the next stitch. Grab the yarn, pull through, and I'm going to pull those loops up in the same height as this first loop over here is. So this was my first, um, uh, my first um, half double crochet. Uh, halfway done, half double crochet. So I'm gonna grab the yarn, I'm gonna wrap the yarn around once and put my hook in the same stitch for the second time. Grab the yarn, pull through. This was the second time, so I'm bringing all the loops in the same height as the first loop over here. I'm gonna wrap the yarn around once 
and put my hook for the third and last time in the same stitch, grab the yarn and pull it up. So I did the same thing for three times and I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The first time that you wrap your yarn around and pull through the stitch, you have the, your first three uh, loops and all the next and all the rest um, that you put your hook through your stitch gives you two more loops. Every time after the first one, it'll always give you two extra loops. So we have a total of seven loops. I'm going to wrap the yarn around my hook once and pull through those seven loops very carefully and I'm going to chain one to secure all those loops. So all these seven loops plus the, the one chain that I just did, they all count as one stitch. So in the next row, what you're going to do is that you're going to put your hook right in here in this chain one that we just did right in here. You're going to make your next, you're going to make your stitch in the next row. So we just finished taking a look at the puff stitch and let's take a look in the next stitch. This is the popcorn stitch and the popcorn stitch is a five double crochet cluster but it's called a popcorn stitch and we have this um, curved down uh, line because it means that you're going to be making a chain one after you have made all those double crochet and what this symbol says is that we're going to make one two, three, four, five double crochet that are going to be coming out from the same exact stitch and we're going to making five halfway done double crochet because at the end we're going to grab the yarn and pull through all those loops in order to make this count as one stitch. That's why they're all closing up here to one stitch. So let's work on our cluster. I'm going to wrap the yarn around once and I'm going to put my hook in the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull through, wrap the yarn around once, pull through the first two loops. So this is my first halfway done double crochet and I have two loops on my hook. Wrap the yarn around once, put your hook in the same stitch, grab the yarn, pull through, wrap the yarn around once, pull through the first two loops. So I have two stitches and a total of three loops. Wrap the yarn around once, put your hook in the same stitch for the third time, grab the yarn, pull through, wrap the yarn around once, pull through the first two loops. So we just we have made three halfway done double crochet and a total of four loops on our hook. Wrap the yarn around once, put your hook in the same stitch for the fourth time, wrap the yarn around once, pull through the first two loops. So at this point we have four halfway done double crochet and a total of five loops in our hook. Wrap the yarn around once, put your hook in the same stitch for the fifth and last time. Wrap the yarn around once, pull through the first two loops and we have a total of one, two, three, four, five halfway done double crochet and a total of two, four, six loops in our hook. Wrap the yarn around once, pull through all those six loops very carefully and chain one. And once you're done um, this step, once you have made uh, your chain one, see how this all this uh, double crochet pops out? That's why it's called the popcorn stitch. So let's take a look in the next uh, symbol. This is a five double crochet shell. So in order to make this five double crochet shell, we're going to make five different double crochet in the same stitch. This is five double crochet as one stitch. This symbol means five different double crochet in the same stitch. That's why you have five different symbols of your double crochet. So let's work our five double crochet shell. So what that symbol means is that in the next stitch we're going to work five different double crochet. So let's go to the next stitch and make our first double crochet. One, 
in the same stitch to make our second double crochet two in the same stitch to make our third double crochet three in the same stitch to make our fourth double crochet four and in the same stitch to make our fifth and last double crochet five so we made five different double crochet in the same stitch so this is a cell stitch so our next symbol we just did our five double crochet shell our next symbol tells us how to make a peacock a peacock is usually uh, used when you're making shell shell stitches or when you're making the um, when you're making the arches and you want to make a little pointy thingy a pointy uh, uh, a peacock on your uh, work so what this symbol means is that you want to make one two three chains because this oval design right here the oval symbol is our chain stitch and you want to make one two three chain stitches and make a slip stitch from the first to your last um, chain stitch so let's see how that peacock is worked So once you have made your stitch, what the symbol tells us is to make one, two, three chain stitches and then what you're going to do is you're going to put your hook in the first, in your last chain stitch which is this one right here, counting back one, two, three chain stitches, put your hook in the, in the last chain stitch, grab the yarn, pull through the stitch and pull through your loop. So you're making a um, slip stitch and this is how you made your um, your little pointy over here stitch your peacock. You usually also, uh, you also use the peacock when you're making a heart. So when you make the first half you want to make the pointy part in the bottom so you're working um, probably half double crochet or single crochet and you're, and you're going to be making a peacock in order to make it look pointier. So that's how you're working your peacock stitch. So right after our peacock stitch we have our front post double crochet. So this symbol right here is our double crochet. It's a symbol for the double crochet we see over here. And we have a little uh, hook towards our left side. When you have your hook towards your left side right under your um, double crochet that means that it's a front post double crochet and this is the abbreviation that you're going to find on the written patterns so when you have this um, symbol over here what it means is that you're going to make a double crochet so you're going to be wrapping your yarn around your hook once so instead of putting my hook right in the stitch to make a double crochet what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this double crochet in the front to make a front post so what so what this means is that from the front to the back on the right side of this stitch I'm going to put my hook right in here in the middle right in between those two stitches but it's the right side of this double crochet that I'm going to work and from the back to the front from the le on the left side of this stitch my hook comes out so I'm pulling out this double crochet so I'm going to wrap the yarn around once pull it under your double crochet and now pull through the first two loops wrap the yarn around once and pull through the last two loops so you just made a front post it's a, it's a double crochet but instead of uh, working it inside the stitch you're going to be working it around the, the previous rows um, double crochet so let's see it one more time. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around once. I'm going to put my hook on the right side of this stitch from the front to the back. And I'm, my, I'm going to take out my hook on the left side of this stitch right here. So I'm pulling out this, si this stitch. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around once and pull it under the double crochet, under the stitch. 
wrap the yarn around once, pull through the first two loops, wrap the yarn around once, pull the last two loops. So we have just made, we just worked two different uh, front post double crochet. So what our next symbol tells us right here, where when you have the symbol for a double crochet, this symbol for double crochet, and a hook looking towards your right side, that means you're going to be working a back post double crochet. The abbreviation on the written patterns is a BPDC, back post double crochet. So let's see how this stitch is worked. When you have a back post, that means that you want to pull your double crochet uh, towards the back. So what this means that this is the double crochet that I'm that's my next stitch. So from the back to the front, on the right side of the stitch, I'm taking I'm um, taking my hook from the back to the front, and on the left side of the stitch, I'm gonna put pull my hook on the back. So I'm pulling back this double crochet. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around once, pull under the double crochet, wrap the yarn around once, pull through the first two loops, wrap the yarn around once, pull the last two loops. So I just worked a double crochet, but the difference with the regular double crochet is that I worked around this post. So let's work one more back post double crochet. So I'm wrapping my yarn around my hook once and I'm going to take my hook from the back to the front on the right side of my stitch to the back on the left side of my stitch so I'm pulling back my double crochet. I'm wrapping my yarn around once, pull under the double crochet, wrap the yarn around once, pull through the first two loops, wrap the yarn around once, pull the last two loops. So this is how two stitches of front post and back post double crochet look like. So our next two symbols over here, this is a worked in the back loop only and this symbol right here means worked in the front loop only. So um, you can take these two symbols as the two loops of every stitch. So this is the back loop and this is the front loop. Let's see how it looks when we work on the back loop of our um, stitch. So when you're working on the back loop of a, uh, of a stitch, that means that when you put your hook in the stitch, you have the front loop and the back loop. The, this is the front and this is the back. So what you want to do is you want to put your hook in the middle of those two loops and pull the back one. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around once and I'm going to make a double crochet on the back loop of this next stitch. And I'm going to wrap my yarn around once and make one more double crochet pulling the back loop. So this is the front, this is the back loop right here and this is the front loop right here. So I just want to pull the back loop and make one double crochet. So when you're working the only on the back loops, see how you have this um, border, you're making like a little border. This front loop stays on the front right here and makes a line. So let's work on our front loop. And when you're working your front loop, that means that you want to grab this front loop over here but you want to do that from the front. So you want to pull the front loop. So I'm, I'm doing the stitches by working double crochet, but it depends on what um, pattern you're reading. Uh, you could have been making this uh, pulling front or back loops with half double crochet or even single crochet. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around once and I'm going to put my hook under this front loop and I'm going to make a double crochet. I'm going to wrap the yarn around once and I'm going to put my hook under this front loop and I'm going to make a double crochet. So see how the back loop stays 
this is the back loop from this previous stitch and this is the back loop from the stitch I just made so that's the meaning of those uh, stitches so let's see if we have any more stitches to look at well one stitch um, that I want to show is um, see the difference in this puff stitch over here on this puff stitch um, it's a little different from the one that we did the previous one that we showed is that it shows four lines so that means that you're gonna put your hook four times in your stitch instead of three 